Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Zayam, and I'm doing joint PhD at Nanyang Technological University and at A Star. And today I'm going to be presenting a talk entitled Enhanced Photon Emission of Metallic Cylindrical Ridges Upon Interaction with a Free Electron. Um, first, let me go through the general outline of the talk. Uh, so first, I'm going to be introducing the main terms and the past works in the similar field. And then I'm going to show how one could enhance the light emission using the metallic nano ridges, or as we call them, nano well design. Uh, we predict that the light emission from the nano well is within the 90% of theoretical bound, and it's 100 times better. Uh, performs than the other conventional structures. It is robust. Um, and then we gonna be uh, presenting the future prospect. Uh, so first let me introduce the main term that we use throughout the talk, uh, the cathode luminescence. So the cathode luminescence is an optical uh, electromagnetic phenomenon uh, in which the electrons impacting on this uh, luminescence material cause the emission of the photons, as you can see from here. So it has been used in the many applications like uh, imaging of the bullseye structure and uh, em CL emission from the holes, and then the study of the Fabry peroresonance resonance at the double roof um, system, and then the CL emission um, study of the nano ridges. Another example of the CL emission is study of the light wall structure, which consists of the alternating layer of metal and the dielectric. Uh, and then in this case, the electron beam was sent through the hole, actually 200 nanometer away from the center. And the spectrum of it is shown on this um, figure. Um, so, it is actually one of the rarest examples, the, the case when the electron sends through the hole uh, and the electron beam uh, and the CL emission is detected because the other works are mainly uh, have shown that the uh, sending electron beam through the hole is very inefficient due to evanescent electron fields in uh, of the electron is poorly uh, coupling to the metal edge because they are too far away from them. So that uh, in this work, they use the electron beam shooting the near edge of the metal to get the moles of the structure. So uh, we also tried to do the, some experiments in, in sending the electrons through the hole and we found out that the signal was very weak so and we failed each time so natural question for us was how to enhance the CL emission by sending the electrons through the hole so we found out uh, that using the the, the following design uh, of circular metallic nano ridge and the groove surrounding them so called the nano well uh, we could enhance the light emission uh, so what happens is that electron is, uh, is sent through the hole and then the fields of the electron excite the surface plasmons and then which in turn leads to the light emission. We predict that such structure uh, will be up to 90% within the limit of the maximum spontaneous emission from another hole. It is two orders of magnitude higher than the other structures uh, like a uh, bare nano hole, it is tunable uh, and it is uh, it is um, stable to geometry and electron beam injection point changes. We compare our design with conventional structures like a bullseye structure, uh, bare hole case, and the hole roof, uh, and, and uh, their respective CL emissions are shown in this figure. We found that the nano well performs 100 times better than the whole groove and the uh, bare hole cases uh, at this particular wavelength, and 10 times better than the bullseye structure. And it should be noted that the bullseye structure in this case has been optimized uh, based on the parameters uh, on, of previous studies. 
And even so, uh, the nano well structure uh, outperforms it. Uh, in this case, this theoretical bound was calculated by the formula shown down below, uh, which was first introduced in this uh, work on the maximum spontaneous emission from the um, nanostructures. Uh, in this case, you could see that the theoretical bound is dependent on the uh, incident field and the susceptibility inside the particular volume and the uh, C rat, which is the uh, radiation efficiency over the electron energy loss. So uh, what happens is that uh, at one particular vo volume, you could find this uh, bound, which we exactly did. And we found out that the nano world structure, the CL emission from nano world structure come close to that theoretical bound. Uh, before going into the properties of the nano world structures, let me show uh, the movie uh, of the electron beam interaction with the nano well structure. As you can see that as the nano well, uh, as the electron beam comes closer to the nano well, the surface plasmons are excited on the surface of the metal and they are mainly um, concentrated in this area of the nano well. And you could see that the fields are strongly localized to the ridge and there are some uh, resonances uh, bouncing back and forth in the groove. So how did we do this simulation? So we exploited the fact that the point charge formalism could be approximated as a dipole chain. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so basically the electron beam in this movie is actually, uh, closely spaced dipoles, large number of dipoles uh, that are delayed in time and placed along the electron trajectory. So yeah, and here you can see how it looks in the numerical software. So the nano will uh, free electron driven light emission uh, is actually robust to the electron injection point. So here you can see that as the axis of the electron beam shifts, the CL emission from the nano well changed eight times, while the, in the other cases, it could change up to the two orders of magnitude. So uh, in this case, it should be noted that the total CL probability gamma means uh, CL emission probability integrated over wavelength range of 400 to 900 nanometers. Uh, similar, uh, then uh, we did a sweep of parameters and to identify the, the properties of the nano well. First, we uh, changed the group width and group depths and found out that the, uh, the CL emission strength is, does not really depend on the group depths or, uh, and mostly depend on the group depths. The, the whole radius, uh, next we did the, uh, on the second figure, we varied the whole radius and the ridge width, which is shown in the inset. Uh, and it shows that the over wide range of whole radiuses, the enhancement of the CL emission is preserved if optimal ridge width is chosen, which is in this case, it's eight nanometer. So it gives the uh, freedom to choose the whole radiuses. Next, uh, we uh, we have shown that the CL emission could be tuned, the resonant peak of the CL emission could be tuned by changing the group depths. So you could see that the resonant peak uh, happens to be between 500 to 1000 nanometers while the group depth is changing. Uh, unlike the Smith Purcell uh, radiation, the nano well emission is mainly due to the modes of the structure. So that's why you don't see lots of changes as the electron energy is increased. Uh, we believe that the reason of the resonant peaks seen uh, on the spectrum here is due to the plasma modes. Uh, we have verified it by doing the electric dipole excitation, uh, which matched the electron beam simulations and the mode analysis revealed the uh, zeros mode at 800 and the dipole mode at 600 nanometers. You could see that the electric field is localized to the ridge as we've seen previously from the uh, 
and are moving. Uh, but not only the rich matters, but the groove is also important as changing the, the structure, uh, having no groove, uh, blue shifts the spectrum and yeah, it, the intensity decreases a lot. Um, we believe that the, such kind of design of nano well could be interesting to the light as a light source in the nanophotonic circuit, as a sensing and imaging, uh, and uh, in the electron plasma scattering uh, experiments. So originally, actually, we planned to do the electron plasma scattering inside the hole uh, and use this setup. But the problem was that when we send the electron through the hole, the, the signal was very weak. So we first tried to find out uh, how we could optimize the structure. So that's how we came up with this nanowell structure. So in conclusion, we have shown that the performance of nanowell is within 90% limit, it's tunable, stable. Uh, and I hope you find this talk interesting. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Uh, I'm happy to answer your questions.